Right. Today in this video, you will learn how to implement chronometer in Android using Kotlin. So let's get started. First, we create our project. Here I'm selecting empty activity. Click on next. Name of your project. Here I'm selecting language Kotlin and click on finish. Now open activity main.xml. And here we use linear layout. and use orientation vertical. Now we add a chronometer. So here we set the countdown true, and now we add two buttons, one for the start and one for the stop. Open mean activity.kt. Here, first we get the ID from XML file by using find view by ID. Now first we work on a start button. So here start button dot set on click listener. Here base function of chronometer is used to set the time that count up time is in difference to. And in elapsed real time, here you can give the start time. If you don't give any start time, it will use time at which you call the start function. This system clock dot elapsed real time returns the time in milliseconds since your device is turned on. Now here we call a start function. This is stars function of chronometer is used to start the counting up. Now stop. Button dot set on click listener. And here we call the stop function. And this is stop function is used to stop the counting up. Now run the project. So here you can see the output. Now click on start. So it says start the countdown. Here you can stop it by using the stop button. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe.